This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. So for rider policy, we require that they're at least 12 years old and that it's one person at a time in the truck with you. But outside of that, there's no other real requirements. They can be there as long as you'd like, and they can start, you know, day one with you. Um, as far as pets, we just updated that policy. So as of right now, it only includes cats and dogs. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at A and A Express. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I, I did read somewhere that Roadrunner has acquired a and a express i'm not sure make sure you guys check out freightways for more information but as of right now they're looking for a company driver they are also looking for lease purchase drivers as well a refrigerated freight company and they can offer you up to fifteen hundred dollars weekly with about 2,500 miles a week. No touch freight, no forced dispatch. They have a cool 5K sign on bonus that is paid out over time. Pet and wider policy with the exception of with the exception of pit bulls. And they have a full insurance, health, vision, dental, and long-term disability insurance. They also have manuals and automatics so if you guys are interested in a and a express stay tuned all right so what do you guys have uh have available uh, i mean we've got positions available on both the lease side and the company side but it looks like you were interested in the company side of things right uh, well, what would you guys got for the company side? So all of that depends on your level of experience. So roughly how much recent verifiable experience do you have? Seven years? Okay. So on our side, your starting base would be 60 cents per mile. However, that is just your starting point. There's always room for growth after. And coming in as a company driver, you're guaranteed to get no less than 2,500 miles. Now, on average, on a weekly basis, our drivers do somewhere closer to 2,800 to 3,000 miles, but they make sure that company drivers get no less than 2,500 because if they don't turn anything down, that automatically qualifies them for the mileage incentive, which would be an additional four cents per mile. So you'd actually be pulling at 64 cents per mile with us. How much experience do you guys require? Like, what's the lease? Bare minimum, we would need two years of verifiable OTR experience. So two years coming in at 60 cent a mile with the incentive. Okay. Well, at two years, they wouldn't be coming in at 60 cents per mile. It's all experience-based. So at two years, they would be coming in at 56 cents per mile. With the incentive, it would bring them to 40 or 60 cents per mile, though. Pre-employment drug screening, is it hair follicles, urine, or both? No, it's just a urine analysis. So do you guys accept uh, drivers out of the SAP program? They would have to have been out of the SAP program for seven or more years. In other words, no. Pretty much, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this uh, opportunity, would this be... Uh, all 48 states, do you run Canada? Can I have a uh, regional? Um, so it, in Ohio, we do have, let me double check here. It looks like we have a small area that does offer a regional run. Generally, it would be OTR, which would keep you out for about two to three weeks at a time and then bring you back for two to three days at a time. That would be the two to three weeks out, two to three days back home. And then um, as far as the other questions asked, we are a 48 state authority. However, we're mostly focused in the Midwest, the Southeast, Texas, and along the West Coast. We don't go further east than Ohio, though. Um, Ohio and the Carolinas, pretty much. So Pennsylvania, West Virginia, New York, New Jersey, none of that would be in our running areas. I will be able to take the truck home? Yeah, you can take the truck home. Are you able to go home loaded at all? Uh, Yeah. I mean, I if I, I do have a place to park, yes. 
Okay, perfect. Um, and then one other question I've got for you. Have you hauled a reefer in the last three years? Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. I was just going to say that's what we do here. It's about 90% reefer with just a little bit of dry van, but of course it's all going to be on that same reefer trailer. Uh, being that we haul reefer, do we get uh, detention and layover? And if so, when do it start? Yes, to both. And it would start at, well, I guess, I can never remember which one it is, and I know you'll know better than I do. It starts after the first two hours. Um, thankfully, though, as a reefer company, I know there is usually a lot of sitting, but we are mostly drop and hook. I'd say it's about 70 to 80% drop and hook. So thankfully, there's not a whole lot of sitting at shippers. Uh, what about the uh, equipment? What I'll be driving and what are the trucks governing that? Trucks we've got available right now are Kenworth T680s and Peterbilt 579s, and they are governed at 68 across the board. Okay. Uh, cameras in the truck? Yes, but they are outward facing only. You guys have benefits, and if so, when do you guys start? We do offer benefits. They, um, they start 30 days after your first day of employment. So 31 days in, you'll be fully covered with us, and they're your standard uh, benefits, you know, medical prescription, vision, and dental coverage. The price of it, though, it does vary from plan to plan. However, the company covers most of the cost for you. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my grandkid? So for rider policy, we require that they're at least 12 years old and that it's one person at a time in the truck with you. But outside of that, there's no other real requirements. They can be there as long as you'd like, and they can start, you know, day one with you. Um, as far as pets, we just updated that policy. So as of right now, it only includes cats and dogs. Unfortunately, no other animals will be allowed in the truck. Um, they cannot be any larger than 50 pounds. And unfortunately, there is a list of, or like a, yeah, a list of breeds that would not be allowed in the truck as far as dogs go. Is one of them will be pit bull? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Trust me, that's a huge bummer to me. I don't understand why people are so scared of pit bulls. They're so sweet. Do you have a? Do you guys got a sign on a uh, bonus or anything? We do have a sign on bonus. It would be five thousand dollars paid out quarterly over the course of your first year. There is one, I guess, contingency to that. You do have to maintain. Um, 10, 000, or 30,000 miles per quarter, which is 10,000 miles per month. And with the way our drivers run, it's super attainable, but it is something that is tied into your sign-on bonus. And that don't sound too much of a sign-on bonus. <laughs> sound more like an incentive. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I was going to say I would tend to agree, but, you know, unfortunately, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Uh, I only have a, a few other questions. Uh, you did mention something about leasing, right? So, what's uh, if I'm if if I'm to go on the lease side, what what would be like my expenses for you know like payments every week, and how much would I'll be getting for leasing? So, with leasing, I'll be completely transparent with you. We use an outside leasing company. It's called Tell. They require a credit check, a down payment, and they have a balloon payment at the end of their lease term. Now, granted, they are leasing out brand new trucks with absolutely zero miles on them. Um, they would be 23 and 24s. They're Peterbilt 579 Ultralofts, Freightliner Cascadias, and Volvo VNL 860s. Um, the payments, they range from truck to truck and agreement to agreement, but generally they start off at $785 a week. Um, as far as expenses, it's going to be somewhere between like eleven and twelve hundred a week on average, and that would include the escrow account that you'd have to have with Tell. That one would be a hundred dollars a week. It caps out at three thousand dollars, so it only lasts for about a month, um, and it doesn't start until after your first thirty days, so you don't have to pay into that right away. And then it would those expenses also include your IFTA, your 2290, your ELD, and your plates and permits. Okay. Um, as far as payments, or like, you know, what you would receive as a lease driver, it would be 72% of the load and 90% of the fuel surcharge. 
Now, are we able to pick our own loads or we have to be dispatched? You would be dispatched on either side, either company or lease. Unfortunately, you're not able to pick your own loads. Um, and we don't really work off of like a load board at all. It's 95% dedicated customers here. Do you guys have a uh, team opportunities there? We do. However, with team opportunities, they ask that both teammates either live in the same household, which is what they prefer, or that they live in the same state. That way it's easier to get everybody back home. My last question, uh, you did say mm -hmm. 60 cent a mile for my experience level. Uh, would you be able to match what I'm making now? Now, that I'm not sure of. I would have to ask around. Like, I'd have to, you know, talk to my boss and everything. Because as far as I know, starting out, you would come in at 60 cents per mile. I know that they do raises pretty quickly. Um, I want to say it generally, like, man, this sounds so weird. I don't want to backtrack. But, like, standard, it's usually a year that they make drivers wait for um, raises. But I have found out that they've been doing them at the six-month period, too. So, I can okay. ask to see if we can match what you're already making, but I'll also ask about the raise structure as well. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, 60 cent is kind of, uh, you know, is, is like the minimum starting, uh, which is pretty good. Be a part of their team. Double A Express out of Nebraska, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right. D does that sound good to you? I mean, it's it's interesting, you know. If you got two years of experience, because that's the bare minimum, they will start you at 56 cent a mile. You will get a four cent bump up bonus, which brings you up to 60 cent amount now if you got more experience like i do they will have you in the door at 60 that sits zero with a bump up of four so that'll give you 64 cent per mile again sap drivers i'm still trying uh unfortunately double a do not accept you at this time you have to have seven years done in order for them to even look at you guys. This is a reefer company, so everything is gonna be temperature control, uh, but she says that it's pretty much drop and hook there. So minimum time at the shippers and receivers, all right? Sign on bonus, 5,000, which is paid out quarterly, but it's more of an incentive. It's not a sign on bonus, because you gotta, you got a threshold to hit. Once you hit that threshold, then you should be good to go. Dog lovers, you can bring your pet, but unfortunately you can't bring your pit bull with you. So your pit bull got to stay at the house. Um, riders, yes, you can bring your rider. Got to be a certain age though. And if you're out of Ohio, they do have a small regional, but it's pretty much over the road. They inspect you to be out for like two to three weeks. You'll be home for like two to three days. Does that sound good? Also, they have an outside leasing company. So you might want to talk to her if you're interested in leasing. She'll pretty much go over that with you. All right. A&A &A Express out of Nebraska. I'm sure they'll get you up there. You can ask how they would get you up there. There shouldn't be too much of a problem. Drivers, if you drove for A&A &A Express, let us know of your experience in the comments below. All right. And now, here you go. I am Lockout Men, and this is the MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. If you guys want to get your suggestions in, you can do it one or three ways. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Leave your suggestions in the comments, or if you want to get it in faster, you can. Hit me off with some coffee. Coffee is always good. You can do that by hitting the cash app. And in the notes, let me know who would you like to have called next. 
Until next time, everybody. Who's next? <laughs>